Canva has just released a bunch of new AI design tools that are changing the way we design forever. In this video, I'm going to show you what they are, what they can do, and how you can use them to uplevel your design process. One of the most impressive features is the Prompt to Design tool, where you can simply put in an idea for a piece of graphic design and instantly get out hundreds of professional, editable designs in seconds. But honestly, that's just scratching the surface. And in Included in this year's release, we have a whole set of exciting new AI updates. Now, one of these is Dream Lab. And what I particularly like about this is that it's integrating Leonardo AI directly into Canva. This allows us to create images and designs in one place. Now, it's not just image creation that you can do in Canva AI now. Canva is also moving into the ability to create video. And you can do this with AI video inside of Canva. You can also create mockups with AI. And beyond that, there are a whole host of other tools that we're going to explore. Now, one of the array of tools that Canva has released is called Magic Studio. And within this, there are a number of different features. Now, my favorite is Magic Design. And essentially, this is a prompt to graphic design tool. Now, let me show you how it works. All you have to do is come to the design tab inside of Canva, and then you can go ahead and write a prompt. So I might put in something like a presentation about the need to adopt AI. Now I can simply press enter and wait for it to generate me various presentations based on my prompt. Now there is a set of settings that you can adjust here, including choosing your colors as well as your language. Now immediately we get a couple of previews. So I'm going to click on the one that I like this and I'm going to go press apply all seven pages. Now you can see I've immediately got an entire presentation that has been created using a single prompt that fits a consistent brand approach. And it also inputs some content for me. And the best thing of all is that this content makes complete sense. Embrace AI today, the future of technology in business and society. Now, what I particularly admire is its commitment to visual communication best practices. It does not overload the page with ridiculous amounts of content, and it gives us useful supporting visual elements. Now, you can also ask it to prompt for other types of design. I asked for a minimalist, futuristic, what AI can do YouTube thumbnail. And these are all the suggestions that it generated for me. This one was my favorite. I particularly liked the text effect here with this three-dimensional AI. It's really pulled that out as the keyword and paired it with this fembot on the right. But as you can see, there are quite a few options. And also, I think this one is fairly good as well for a YouTube thumbnail. Now, I spend a lot of time designing my thumbnails. And for each video, I usually create about a dozen before I actually select one. And you can see here, we've got a couple of examples. Now, I can show you another example. You can use this for creating Instagram posts in seconds. I might ask it for social media posts for Instagram about mental health. And in less than 30 seconds, you immediately get some results. So I particularly like this start here. Now you might notice that it's outputted the results into a landscape format. And what's great about the new tools inside of Canva is that we can use the magic resize tool, which allows us to take a design and automatically redesign it for different circumstances. So you can take this uh, widescreen shot and you can turn it into a vertical post, you could turn it into a square post. And this is actually incredibly impressive and useful. So you can simply come here to resize at the top of the page and you can select the other orientations that you would like your piece for. Now you can simply go copy and resize. And this takes mm, a little bit longer, around about a minute to work, but it does all of the design process for you. All you have to do is sit back and relax and you can simply open the designs and as you can see, we have the entire post reformatted in a four by five aspect ratio. And in this one, we have it reformatted into a vertical story. Now what's great about this is you can immediately go ahead and then adapt it yourself. So if you do want to change things, possibly I'd make that larger. Maybe I'd make this one larger. You can see that it saves you a whole host of time for working with different situations. Now you can also take your brand and resize it to 
everything from business cards to flyers to Instagram posts or even a Facebook cover. Now I'll show you a, another example of how I was working with this. I took this Instagram post and changed it into an Instagram story and also into a slide. Now what's also great about the Canva AI tools is that you can generate content directly inside of Canva. So if you want to add in new content using AI writing, you simply select your text and go to magic write, which is this old pencil icon. Now we have a few options here, everything from continue writing, shorten, rewrite, which has the same information in different words, or you can change the tone to make it more fun. So let's try making this more fun. The brain is like the ultimate control center, super complex organ that runs the whole human show. You can go to replace and it will put the text in for you. Now what I particularly like are these essential ways to work with writing that have already been stipulated. So it's like you have a set of design tools to apply to your text. It's actually a very unique and interesting way to be working with an LLM. And of course you can put an entirely custom prompt yourself, like turn this into a list and go to generate and you can replace that and you now have a bullet pointed list. Now beyond this, one of my favorite updates is the magic design tool. And what's great about this is that you can create your own elements inside of Canva using prompts. All you have to do is go to the elements tab, then select generate your own and then graphics. So let me show you how this works. So we're inside of our design. We are going to the element tab and here you can go to generate your own. From here, you can describe what you would like. So I would like a flat illustration of a little head and you can see here that it is generating immediately. And we're getting some quirky illustrations that would work pretty well with this design. So I'm gonna drag this in and I'm gonna play around with this. And you can see that it fits in well with my template. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can also go in and generate this again, or you can clear your prompt. Now, if you want graphics, you can simply come to the graphics tab. So maybe I want an icon of a brain. So I'm going to simply put in that. And what I love about this is the ability to create custom graphics, illustrations, and images directly inside of Canva and then drag them into your design. And here you can see this time we've got some icons. Now the other thing you can generate directly inside of Canva is video. And you can simply come to the tab of videos. And this is powered by Runway. So you can simply put in any video prompt you like. So you might say brain explosion 3D style Pixar, and you can generate your video. Now it takes about one to two minutes. See, I put in Pixar here, and apparently you're not allowed to use a brand name like this inside of your video prompt. And we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. Now, the next exciting development that I would like to show you is the AI animation feature. And what this does is it automatically animates your design with AI. And this is incredibly useful if you're looking to create dynamic stories. This allows you in an instant to create AI animations. All you have to do is press magic animate and you can see that we get the elements transitioning across the page. So let's have a go at that ourselves. We're gonna to come to design. We're going to create a new Instagram story. From here, I'm going to choose a template. Let's try this funky one. And now I'm going to press animate. From here, all we have to do is press magic animate and you can choose the style that you would like. Now, there are a few options here from bold, elegant, energetic to digital, and you can see them previewed as you hover over each of these styles. <laughs> minimal is so minimal, you can hardly notice it. I'm gonna go with bold here. And now you can see our animation. You can press play in the top hand corner and you can see that the whole scene is animated. And this is perfect for working with Instagram stories. Now the next interesting video related AI feature is automatic highlights. And this is where Canva can automatically identify the most interesting parts of a video and edit them out for you. So let me show you how that works. All you have to do is select a video inside of Canva. Then you have to click the scissors icon and go to highlights. So once you've hit the scissors, you can press on this new button, which is highlights. Now on the left hand side, you can see the highlights that have been automatically selected by Canva. Now you can choose these by simply tapping on them and use add selection to design to put just those elements in. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to stay updated with the latest AI creative news. I would appreciate it and it helps support the channel. Now there are also a number of AI photo editing features that are now directly integrated into Canva. One of my favorites is called Magic Grab. And what this allows us to do is simply take one element from a photo and put it directly into another. 
So let me show you how that works. You can be in a photo and then you can select the element by going edit and then coming to Magic Studio and selecting Magic Grab. You can simply click on the element that you want to use. I will be selecting the moon here and then you can go to Grab. Now in the background, Canva goes ahead and separates this element directly from the background. And you can go ahead and drag it somewhere else. So we can also drag this astronaut who I separated earlier and put him over here. Now it's not just Magic Grab that they've introduced, they've also got Magic Eraser. And this works by being able to select an image and then again going to Edit and using the Magic Eraser tool. From here, you can simply use a brush to draw over the elements you don't want to see. So I can get rid of these birds. I might also decide to get rid of this woman. Let's push it to the limits. Now you can press Erase. As that's working, I want to see if our new video came out, how well it looks. And you can see, here we have our brain. And we've got a beautiful slow motion shot of a brain explosion. Now Canva has really taken the world by storm and it has more than 200 million monthly active users across more than 190 countries. And as you can see, it managed to remove the birds but did not manage to remove this woman effectively. So it works well for smaller elements, but if you're really going to challenge it, it's still going to be better to take this directly into Photoshop. So it's important to recognize what are the capabilities of this tool and what are the limitations. Now another awesome AI photo editing tool directly inside of Canva is the automatic background remover. And again, you can select your image, go to edit, and then go into the Magic Studio where the first tool is background remover. Now this immediately isolates your feature from the background and allows you to create designs with it. Now Canva has teamed up with a whole bunch of AI startups and integrated their technologies directly into Canva. And this allows you to access other AI tools from Canva. And a new one that I like is the ability to add textures to text. And this is called text art. So if you're in Canva, you can come into the app section on the sidebar. And from here you can search for an app. So for example, you might search for text art, which is the name of this tool. And from here you can click use in a new design or use in an existing design. Then you can select the size of the document you would like. And what this allows you to do is create some interesting text effects. So for example, here you can see the word bread has been made out of some very tasty looking bread. And to use this, all you have to do is put in the text that you want. So we might put in hello. Then you're going to put in the style that you would like applied on top of the text. Finally, you can go to generate. Now you get a couple of free credits, but for this feature, you have to pay extra monthly to get additional credits. And that's the same with other AI apps that have been integrated into Canva. These are not native features of the Canva ecosystem, but they are third party additions that have been implanted into the Canva site. Here's another fun feature that Canva has, and that's the ability to take a document that you've created and automatically translate it into a presentation. You can do this with one click and it separates the information into different slides and helps you migrate your content across content types. Now, once you're creating a document inside of Canva, all you have to do is come up to the top where it says magic switch. And here we have a whole set of AI options. You have the translate option, which means you can translate all of your content into another language. And there's a whole host of languages, more than 50 different languages, including Hosa. Now, what we're interested in is the convert to presentation. And what this does is takes all of your content and lays it out in different slide templates. Now, we get a few different styles to experiment with. The first is a very plain minimal one. And then there's also this one with a background gradient. But I'm going to go with this more professional looking one, which has outlined the content on the left-hand side. Now, as you can see, most of the layouts are fairly basic, but what they do do is split all the content into separate slides and apply a consistent style and aesthetic for you. Once you're happy with the template design, you go to create my presentation and the whole thing opens up straight away. You can also then go ahead and update the style by changing different font and color combinations. Now, once you have a beautiful presentation, you can get AI to present it for you. Take a look at this. It's now possible to use AI actors to create your own user-generated content. This video is entirely AI-generated. This tech is just getting wilder and wilder. We all know ads with people convert better, especially if the 
customer can relate to the person in the ad. But actors are expensive, time consuming, and they can be a hassle. So why bother? With bigmotion.ai, you can create lifelike user-generated content like this using simple text prompts. Launched just last week, this tool is already bringing in major return on ad spend across Facebook, Instagram, and other social media campaigns. Now you can use this tool not only for creating ads, but also for generating content for creating faceless YouTube and TikTok channels. Here's how it works. You write your script, adjust the voiceover, and in five minutes, you've got yourself a super realistic looking AI video. Imagine having a whole community of mentors, entrepreneurs who face the same struggles. Big brands are churning out thousands of these and they're able to test ideas at 10x speed. No need for expensive studios, recording equipment, or actors, just immediate high quality AI video ads. AI user-generated content has been a game changer for companies running Facebook and TikTok ads. With bigmotion.ai, they're able to attract and engage audiences whilst cutting ad costs several times over. For my subscribers, there is a special $1 trial, which allows you to try this out. All you have to do is go to the link in the description below and try out AI avatars with Big Motion today. Thanks to Big Motion for sponsoring this video. Now, a new feature that has been created in Canva is called the whiteboard. And this is a collaborative space where everyone can put ideas in and grab a whole host of different content types and put them in one place. Canva has really carved a name out for itself as the most accessible AI design tool. And it's doing a great job at keeping pace with generative AI advancements. And it's no surprise seeing as on Canva, more than 15 billion designs have been created since its inception, which is almost enough for two per person in the world. Canva is becoming ubiquitous and 95% of Fortune 500 companies are using it in their products. Now you can try Canva for free, but to get the most out of all of these AI features, you will need to upgrade. And the basic plan starts at $15 a month. And beyond that, also a lot of these AI features will use a credits-based system and you can run out of credits on the basic plan. And when that happens, you can either upgrade or stop using the AI features. What do you think of the new features inside of Canva AI? And what would you like to see in the future? Do let me know in the comments. And if you are interested in a competing AI design tool, you might enjoy this video about Figma AI. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. And most of all, I wish you a delightful day.